Hi friends, this is Kat and you are in my non-edible office, study, whatever. Anyway, seeds for April. Let's go. I've got to do this quick because I'm running out of battery. I've <laughs> got 39%-ish. So let's go. Beans. Now is the time for your beans to start. Ooh, bush bean. This one, Jacob's Cattle Gold Bush Drying Bean from Real Seeds. Not affiliated at all, just so you know. But yeah, these are purely for drying. Look how cool these are. They're almost like gold. Love. I love me some beans. Do you know what I really enjoy? I really enjoy shelves full of big jars of really colourful beans. There's some more. So I'm going to grow these. Bolotti. Bolotto. My Jacob's Cattle Gold Bush Drying Beans. These are a bush variety. That's a climber. Pea beans. Look how gorgeous they are. Look at that. Booty. My hands are a bit grubs because I've been in the garden, of course. Um, so yeah, beautiful. Runner beans that I saved seed from and then didn't write the variety. <laughs> um, some Blue Lake climbing French beans. You can also save these um, as haricot beans like that. A jar full of them. Beautiful. What else have I got? More runner beans of unknown variety because um, I'm just ridiculous. Uh, any more, any more, any more? That's just what I have. Throw whatever beans you like. Oh, here's some oh, low power mode. Oh my god, I'm already got down to 20 already. Climbing bean, again. Blue Lake. April's July. It's April, by the way. Quick sticks, quick sticks. Um, courgettes and marrows. So here's a marrow. Put that one in. Courgettes. Courgette. This one's zucchini. This one's core gazelle. Move these out of the way. Uh, ba -ba -da. Spring onions. Continue to sow them. Successional sowing. Continue, continue. Peppers. I am absolutely shocking at growing peppers. I don't have a heat source. I grow everything in my unheated polytunnel. Peppers do not work for me. It's annoying. I really want to grow my own peppers because I see loads of people in America growing these beautiful peppers. I'm like, I want to do it. But I just don't have the have the time because they need a long growing season. So mm, you can sow these now. However, will they make um, fruit by the end of the year? Iffy. But you can sow them and have a go. See what happens. I'm not going to because I am rubbish at it. Ah, another courgette. Golden zucchini. I needed a gold one. You can start growing your squashes. This one's Marina di Chioggia. 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 Something. There. Do that. I'm flying, I'm flying. Lettuce. Continue sowing your lettuces. Um, successional sowing. Go, go, go. Lucky Dip Callaloo. I have no idea what this is. It's some kind of spinachy, Caribbean y, stewy kind of green. Mm. I'm going to grow it, see what happens. Tomatoes, keep going with them. Sweet baby. I'm going to give these a go actually this year. Cucumbers, put that bad boy in. So that's a wild toma. Again, real seeds. I like my heritage varieties so I can save seeds from it. So I've got that one and I've got the Paris pickling cucumber. This is just like a gherkin, this one. So I'm going to pickle all these. My husband loves a good old gherkin. Uh, kids hate it. Brassicas, Brussels sprouts, Brussels sprouts, broccoli. Broccoli, kale, oh I'm getting stuck to my stuff, uh, a bit of greyhounds, cabbage, still sow these, these are all successional sowings, keep going, so you can start this one in March, finish in May, Austrian tree cabbage, already got some of those in, but again a lot of these are successional sowings, um, obviously not the courgettes or the um, squashes or the tomatoes, um, None of the vining things because they produce multiple fruits, but the things that you get to one 
one food item per plant those are the ones you want to successionally sow um kale you can do it though and broccoli -da -da. what's this oh yeah more purple sprouting goodness me i've got loads of that what have we got ah roots let's go for some roots um turnips kind of roots because the roots are actually below like a proper root vegetable is like a carrot or a parsnip where you are eating the roots but here you are just eating and radishes as well that's the root and you're just eating the bulbous bit above the root thing mm, kind of not root kind of like a stem almost and beetroot all of these successionally so keep going keep going i'm rushing through it because needs must ah another brassica rouge tete noir early autumn cabbage red cabbage beautiful comes up a tree i already sowed some in march coming up lovely very happy with those and um, all the ones in these white packages from real seeds I'm not affiliated at all um but they're all heritage varieties so i can save save seeds from all of it parsnip you can actually sow parsnip in april um you can actually sow it until early may so these are going to be in my may one as well i expect unless i chuck them all in the ground beforehand but these need a long long um season as well oh more peppers mm. I'm shocking the peppers. Uh, another pepper, sweet bonita. I don't know. Look, no, March to April. So April's the, the the last time I can do this. I might. Oh, I really want to give it a go. I want to be able to grow my own peppers and then save the seeds and have those peppers be used to my climate and so that when I sow the seed, the seed will grow and the plants will grow, and I will get peppers. Mm, it's an issue. Mizuna, keep going successionally. So this one, that one's all the way March to August. You just crack on with that. Uh, what's this? Lettuce again. Successionally so every few weeks to keep your crop coming. Sweet corn. March to May. This is going to be a next month as well. I've never tried to grow sweet corn. My husband grew, grew um, bought plants from the garden centre last year and they did not grow. So... Hmm. I've never tried to do it from seed. I might give it a go, I don't know. Celeriac, March to April. This is the last month that you can grow celeriac. Um, it's an indoors. So indoors, March to April, and then you're done. I've never grown celeriac before. I might give it a go. I'm sure I had some Swede somewhere as well, and I'm upset because I've lost it. Um, but yeah. Swedes, you can grow them this year, uh, this month as well. Rockets, chard, keep going, keep going. April to July for successional harvests of the delicious chard and the beautiful stems. Love them. Bright lights. So I've got the mixture. I love a colourful garden. Love it, love it, love it. Right. So that's that. And oh my gosh. dear sorry about that beans uh runner beans lord milled maize um heritage variety from the heritage seed library done and done lima beans ah 10 percent <laughs> butter beans black eyed beans runner beans oh tender star that could be one that i've grown so i don't know, I don't know. uh red kidney beans peas her screen shaft successfully so just keep going march to june keep going keep going I'm flying through it, runner beans, all your herbs, smash them out. Oh, let's put a piece there. Get it all done. Herbs, 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 herbs. I need to get my basil. Oh, basil. I need to get that done, actually. I have no basil right now. Mm. Getting that sewn this week, this, uh, this month. This week. So what happens when you rush you start talking absolute nonsense oh it's been nine minutes already crikey plenty right then so there you go those are all the things you can sow in april basically everything <laughs> just get it sewn there's just everything all of this it's an absolute mess absolute mess but literally just grow everything get it all gone get it all going not gone rushing see rushing i've got like five percent left on my phone so yeah 
enjoy, get sewing, get growing. I will see you next time. Love you all. Before my um, battery dies, keep sensible, keep safe. See you next time. Bye for now.